Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mathlog. This lesson is on polygons. So this is uh, our first lessons in geometry. I really like uh, geometry. I teach geometry in high school. So there's our common core strand for our teachers. And how can we identify and classify polygons? Okay, so here we go. A polygon is just a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at points called vertices. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what? Well, it's like a triangle, you guys, or a rectangle or a square. Those are just specific kinds of polygons. So, so we name the polygons by the number of sides and angles it has. So let's go ahead and get started here. So a three-sided figure is called a triangle. You guys all knew that already, okay? A four-sided figure, okay, if you're thinking a square or a rectangle, those are specific types of four-sided figures. All four-sided figures are called quadrilaterals. Quad is our code word for four right here. Try is our code word for three. You guys know what the code word for five is? Uh, it's called a pentagon. Okay, a pentagon is a five-sided polygon. Okay, and then we have what's called a hexagon is a, a six-sided polygon. All right, so how many angles do they have? Well, a triangle has one, two, three angles, the same amount of sides. A quadrilateral has one, two, three, four angles, the same amount of uh, sides as uh, the, uh, the quadrilateral has. So the number of sides equals the number of angles. Well, how many vertices do they have? Well, the vertices are the corner points. Here's a vertice, here's a vertice. Actually, vertex is singular, vertices is uh, plural. So triangles have three vertices, quadrilateral have four vertices and five and six, okay? All right, what about a seven-sided? This one's often forgotten. It's called a heptagon. So if it has seven sides, it's called a heptagon. You guys know what an eight-sided figure is? It's a stop sign. Those are called octagons, okay? Whoops, in the angles and vertices, okay? Octagons have eight sides. Nonagons, nonagons have nine sides. So there's a nonagon right there. Um, uh, and then uh, ten sides is called a decagon, you guys. Ten sides is called a decagon. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to talk about these uh, specific things right here. And some of these angles you'll notice are more than 180 right here. Like, like this angle right here is definitely more than 180. In fact, if I drew this line straight down, it would be 180 then. And it's opened up more than 180. So let's look up here. This angle is definitely opened up more than 180. I'd say about 271 or so, okay? This angle is less than 180, but this angle right here definitely opened more than 180. Okay, let's not worry about that too much, you guys. All right, so regular polygons, you guys, when line segments have the same length or when angles have the same measure, they are said to be congruent. And so if you have a regular polygon, that means all the sides and all the angles are congruent. So here's some examples of regular polygons right here. Here's a regular pentagon right here, five sides. See how all the sides are marked by five centimeters right here? And all the angles are marked by 108 degrees right here. Well, okay, since all the angles are equal and all the sides are equal, this is called a regular polygon, a regular pentagon. This is a, a square is a regular polygon. All the sides are equal, all the angles are equal to 90. So we can write measurements to show the congruency. So here we have 3 inches, 3 inches, 3 inches, 3 inches, and then 90 degrees in the angles. Or you can use markings to show that the sides are equal. So these red marks show the sides are equal. Here I have two dashes going all the way around that shows these sides are equal. And then you can put in either angle measures or you can put these little arc measures in. They just there are symbols to show congruency. Okay, so um, uh, regular polygons, all sides, all angles are congruent. These, ang uh, these polygons are not regular. Here we have two sides that are equal, but these two sides aren't the same as these two sides because these have two tick marks on it. Okay, these two tick marks just means this side equals this side. Okay, this side here equals this side here. This angle equals this angle, but these two angles equal to a different measure right here. So since all the sides aren't equal and or all the angles are equal, it's not regular. Here's a kind of like a square being squished over. It's like taking a square and squishing it over to the right. All of a sudden, the angles are no longer equal. These are equal, and these are equal, but this angle is not equal to this angle. Regular means all the sides and angles 
have to be equal. So these are both not regular right here, okay? All right, so let's try this, you guys. Let's place the figures in the Venn diagram by the, uh, classifying the polygons in each group. So over here, we're going to put in the congruent angles, the ones that have all the angles. Over here, we're going to put all the sides that are congruent. And then in the middle is where it's going to be the regular guys, where the angles and sides are equal, okay? So uh, let's see. Let's, let's take a look at this one right here. This one says, all the sides are equal but not all the angles so this is going to be congruent sides only it's going to go in here okay same with this guy this is congruent sides only the angles aren't so this one's going to fit in there too Let's see if i can fit it in there without there we go perfect all right so here we're going to do all the congruent angles okay so like this rectangle has congruent angles all 90 degrees right there this rectangle has congruent angles but the sides aren't congruent okay this square has all sides and angles congruent so it's going to go right in here it has all congruent angles and congruent sides same with this equilateral triangle these are regular right here because all the angles are equal and all the sides are equal all right okay so name each polygon then tell whether it's a regular polygon or not regular okay so this is a square i know it's a square but they don't want you to name it with a square they want you to name it with a four-sided figure and is it regular okay so this all the sides are equal all the angles are equal so this one's regular this one's regular this one's not regular because um, uh, the angles aren't equal and the sides aren't equal and this one's definitely not regular okay so four sides okay what's four sides four sides is a quadrilateral okay so this guy's going to be quadrilateral and it is a regular polygon those are the kind of answers they want okay here we'll start here one two three four five five sides what's a five-sided okay five-sided is pentagon try to get these in your memory banks if you can you guys I know these because I've been teaching these forever, it seems like. So I'm just reminding you there. So it's a pentagon, and it's not regular because not all sides and angles are equal. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, do you remember what a six-sided figure is? It's called a hexagon, and that guy was regular. Okay, this one had eight sides, so it was called an octagon, and it's definitely not a regular polygon right there. Okay, all right, you guys, I hope that made sense, and take care.